So over the past 10 years, I built an absolutely dynamic client base out of the Fairfield area. And one of the reasons why I attribute that to us, besides my stunning good looks and magnetic personality, is because we use a very unique blend of exercises that a lot of other trainers either don't incorporate because they don't know how they work or they just flat out never seen them before. And one of the biggest bridges we try to gap with our training that really keeps bringing people back year after year to us is we try to take the old school bodybuilding, you know, weightlifting kind of stuff that's been proven to work and get results, and come, but it's gonna leave your body a fucking train wreck and combine it with the new age, foo food, functional training, movement training stuff, to kind of find this middle bridge where you take everything and combine it so you can get the results you're looking for, but not get the broken body and all the injuries and the pain in the process. And this is one of those exercises we've done to absolutely do that. So we call this a half kneeling curl and press or a bias and curl to shoulder press in the half kneeling position. Now, there's a couple key things that happens on this exercise, right? I'm gonna show you a couple reps, right? Now, the biggest thing you wanna do is you wanna go same side arm, same side leg, meaning that the knee that's down is the side I'm gonna be pressing the bell from. All right. Now, what you'll notice as I'm going, you're going to see my weight shift side to side. So I want you to look. If you look right now, my head, when I'm on the bottom, is over my left foot, even though I'm on my knee right now. Right. So what's going to happen is as I bicep curl, I'm going to shift my weight and I'm going to press. Now my head's over my right foot. So one of the things I'm going to be doing on this exercise, besides I'm working my biceps, my triceps, my shoulders, a little bit of chest, I'm also getting the sides of my body, my lats and my obliques. So as I go to press up, I'm going to wing down this arm to help press up. I'm going to whip it up, right? I'm going to wing it down. And now besides just becoming a shoulder and arm exercise, now it's a core exercise also because I'm getting the side lateral muscles, right? My obliques, my lats, all that stuff inside of there. So now it's coming into a core exercise also. Now another thing we get, Susie, come to the side over here. So another part of this exercise we have is the actual leg positioning. One of the things I'm doing when I'm going to press is I'm whipping my hip forward like as if I was taking a step from a run or if I was walking or anything like that. Notice my foot positioning. My heel is turned out, my toe is turned in. So as I go, I can really push off this back leg and drive and include my glutes, right? A lot of people do this. They let the toe turn in, they tuck the toe, they let the heel turn in, I can't even do it anymore. And what happens when you do that, you start using a lot of hip flexor, a lot of inner thigh. And for those of you guys who have back problems, this is one of the main reasons why you get your back problems is because you're using your inner thighs and your hip flexors for everything. We wanna point those toes, shoelace it down to the ground, heel away, toes in, and then as I go to press up with that bell, it starts from the hip. I go out and forward, I whip that hip forward, and I'm driving from the ground up, almost like I was standing. So if you watch the leg portion of what's going on, I'm right here, curl and press, and then I'm back down. I like to exaggerate the arm action, right, with this bow and arrow push-pull motion we like to work into everything, because this motion just kind of mimics the way your body's designed to move. And I'm still working my shoulders, right? I'm still getting my arms, I'm still doing all that stuff. But now I'm integrating my lower body, right? I'm including my core. And I'm getting a lot of stuff out of it besides your basic bicep curl to shoulder press. So that is the bicep curl to shoulder press from the half million position. It's a phenomenal exercise. Obviously, I'd be doing the other side also. Now, a lot of people always say, Jay, can I do this exercise from the other side? You absolutely can. I got a client who's got a bad kneecap. He can't do this from the other side. However, He's still able to do the arm action, which really helps out, right? The only thing though, is he's not able to drive as much. So you can go same side arm, same side leg. I like to follow the leg that's down. I think you get more out of it, but both of them work. And the good thing about your single arm shoulder press is for all you guys that have shoulder injuries and you can't go both arms above your head anymore, you get a lot more mobility working with one arm at a time than you do both of the arms at the same time. So that's a quick way to work around any shoulder injuries you have. So guys, hopefully that helped you out. Take that, give it a shot. If you're having trouble with it, leave me a comment in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you as fast as we can. And if there's any other exercises you feel like you'd like to see, do me a favor, leave a comment below, like I said, and the next video we might put out might be something you had a question about. Thanks for coming by. See you guys in the next one.